So this is video two in our series of cycle cart frame construction. So in this video, we're going to cover building the, or basically designing the frame, building a platform or sort of a jig to uh, construct the frame on. And in the next video, we'll do some other parts. So that we're not going to build the frame in this one. This is just kind of prepping the frame to be put together, uh, laying out a plan, taking care of measurements, and making sure it's square and straight on the table. So you don't have to build anything fancy. This is just a piece of plywood. I'll show what that looks like in a minute. And right now I'm going to show you what the um, the plans look like. So I took these measurements off my existing cycle cart. Um, we're shrinking this down by two inches, basically putting the frame rails essentially inside the other frame rail so I can drop my body down over the exterior part. I'll show you what that means in a minute. But, um, but for this video, we're going to focus on planning and building a, a jig. Okay, here, so here are the original plans for my cycle cart frame. So after I built my frame, I took some pretty careful measurements, and this is what the result is. The 17 and 5 eighths measurement at the front is the actual front measurement minus the little mounts that mount the uh, spring shackles, or the, spring, the shackles for the springs. And this is version 2.0. So took us some measurements here. So initially I remote, marked down 16 inches, that's two inches minus 18. It's actually 15 and 5 eighths at the very, very front. Measure the distance from the front to the center of the axle and from the front to the very end of the existing frame. So the new frame is going to be slightly longer because what we're going to do is drop this. What I think I'm going to try to do is drop this engine down to the level with the bottom of the frame rail, which is going to be kind of new for me. I've seen a few guys do it. I'm excited to try that out. Um, so anyway, that's the plan. Uh, feel free to use this if you like, if it makes sense. Modify it to fit your body and your needs. Uh, when I say fit your body, I mean your your actual self to make sure it fits you. You build it too small, it's not comfortable. If it's too big, you'll slide around in there quite a bit. At any rate, um, so this is version 2.0 of the Viscount Vincent Model T Special. So that's the Viscount Vincent right there. So what we're going to do is you see how this body is currently mounted. It's just sitting on top. The aluminum's got an L shape in it, and it's riveted on here. So what we're going to do is cut that flange off, drop the body down over the outside of the new frame rail. So I'm basically subtracting the thickness of this frame rail and the thickness of the other frame rail to get the body down over it. So basically this body is going to sit inside here. And that should lower the profile of the entire car because I'm going to drop my seat down. And anyway, a lot of different changes. So this is hopefully what will be an improvement over the existing. This doesn't, doesn't look bad, I don't think. But I just think I can make it look even better. So... That's what we're going to try to do. So in going with that, we constructed this, well, I would call it a jig. It's a piece of plywood with some wood reinforcing underneath it, um, under here. What this was is a HO train layout that I had. We took apart, decided we didn't need any more, so we laid this all out. So this is my frame rails laid out in the, in the measurements I need. So this is no end of existing frame. So I know that this is where my existing frame ends. My new frame might be slightly longer to accommodate the motor being down drop lower. Frame rails are clamped down temporarily and I marked a perimeter all the way around them at the front as well. Get my glasses out of the way. So I made indexing notes on here just in case we lose track of where we're at. So 15 and 5 eighths is Z from the center point to the outside edges of the frame rails. 7 and 7 eighths is almost half of that so it's actually not quite, it's like fractional difference. but That'll get us close enough. Um, so after we've kind of laid this all out, uh, we've taken care of it for measurements, I'm gonna put some pieces of wood along the outside so we can keep the frame rail from sliding around and moving around, just to keep them so they don't move. May not be totally necessary with the clamps, but it's exceedingly hard to clamp a piece when it's in here. So the idea is to keep this from moving around. I might drill some holes in here to put some clamps and we actually get the frame assembly. So the next phase after this com is completed, we will drill where the axles are gonna go. It's a lot easier to drill the holes for the axles now than it is after things are welded together. Okay, so here I've taken the frame off. You can see this is just a two foot wide, eight feet long piece of plywood. Um, like I said, I just made this out of scrap wood that I had laying around. 
I like it that it's two feet wide, just it's easier to get around. You can walk around with your welder. Uh, so the next step will be to cut some wood strips and create some indexing pieces so that this frame doesn't move around while we're working on it. So we'll do that next. Okay, so I cut some wood down into strips, little one by pieces. These are again leftover pieces from the other project. And I installed short pieces on the inside. Don't need a whole lot of these. Again, on the inside over here. The longer piece on the outside. Uh, this is screwed down to the plywood so that the frame basically just sits in there. That's the idea. So take the frame in and out of the jig so the frame stays where it needs to be. It's always exactly indexed to the, to the platform. Uh, your measurements will stay the same and true. You can still clamp this down. I think I'm going to. But the idea is when you lay this all out, you put your cross members in here and clamp these down the same way. Put some screws in there. Hopefully this thing will not move around. You know, with a nice square straight frame and not have to struggle with it like I did on my last one. At least that's the idea. And the nice thing about this idea is if you build more than one frame, um, you can move it around different sizes. If you want to build more than one frame, screw them down so every frame is exactly the same. I'm not suggesting you go into production here. That's not the idea, but uh, this is just a real quick thing. I spent about, I don't know, 20 minutes cutting these pieces of wood. Not a lot of time invested and no money so far just because this piece of wood I already had. In fact, there's the other part of the train table laying over there on the workbench. I just cut this thing right down the middle. Um, so this is what the bottom of the train table, former train table looked like. So there's one by one strips under here that make this nice and rigid. Um, that's why the piece of plywood is not floating around. So it gives you an idea. You don't have to do that. Uh, if you've got a more bigger workbench, you could do it on a workbench just like your workbench here. Uh, same process, just use your clamps and make it work. So we're gonna call that the end of video number two. This was the frame jig. Uh, it's not a complete video because uh, I don't have the frame cross sections cut. Uh, when I put the frame together, you'll see what those are going to look like uh, probably two videos from now. The next video, we're going to do the drilling of the frame rails for the axle. That's where the axle mount's going to go. So that's critical. Everything else kind of works off of there as far as where your engine mounts go, where your cross members go. That way, everything stays where it needs to be. If you have any questions on this, what we're doing, um, what cycle carts are all about, uh, feel free to send me a message, email. Um, not hard to find on Facebook. Uh, Arizona Cycle Cart Club on Facebook and cyclecartclub.com is the main website where most of us are at and that's where our t-shirts from anyway uh, if you have any questions thanks for watching uh, if you like our video subscribe and we'll have some more installments here pretty quick this is going to go over the next period of the next couple weeks i'll have this frame done thanks for watching